Hello, friends. How are you? Hope you are fine. I feel great here. Oh yes. Look at this swimming pool. It is big and full of water. Do you know how much is the volume of the water in the swimming pool? Huh? You don't know? Don't worry. I'm here to help you to learn about volume of liquid. Come, follow me. I want you to meet my friends. Hi, I'm back. Now, let me introduce my friends to you. This is Litter. Hi, friends. I'm Litter. Nice to meet you. And this is Milly Litter. Hi, hi, friends. I'm Milly Litter. How do you do? Hi. Hi. Whoosh! It's fun. Come join me to play with this. Witty, I feel so thirsty. I want to drink. Yes, me either. I feel thirsty too. Oh, pity you. Hey, look! There is a stall selling drinks. Let's go. I want a bottle of mineral water. Can I have a bottle of orange juice? Here you are. Thank you. Please give me a tin of coke. Here is it. A tin of coke for you. Thank you. How much altogether, sir? It's five ringgit and forty cents. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, look. Let's sit under the tree and have our drinks. That's, That's a good, a good idea. idea. Let's, Let's go. Hmm, feel better now. Yes, me too. What a hot day. Litter, how much water have you drank? I have finished drink all the orange juice in this bottle. The volume of the orange juice in this bottle is 125 milliliter. So, I have drunk 125 milliliter of orange juice. I don't know that. Normally, the volume of the water or liquid is stated at the label of the bottle. Oh, I see. But, but... Why, Witty? Do you want to ask anything? Yes. I don't understand what was he talking about. 125 milliliters? Why did he mention your name? Hmm. You seem don't understand anything. Yes. I don't understand. It's okay. Let us help you. But you have to follow us. Where to? Our, Our math lab. lab. Math lab? Shh! Don't tell anyone, anyone is our, our secret, secret place. place. ta da 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 Welcome to the math lab. Everything about math, you can find it here. Wow, it's so amazing. I'm impressed. Come, let's look around. Okay, Witty, you want to learn about volume of liquid, right? Yes, yes. Good, this is the place. Let's watch this magic CD and meet Professor Wish. I'm sure he'll help you in this topic. Hello, Witty Little and Milly Little. How are you? We, We are, are fine. fine. Thank, Thank you. you. What is your problem this time? Witty has problem in understanding volume of liquid. Don't worry. I will help you.
first, let me introduce the unit we use in order to measure volume of liquid. We use milliliters and liters as a unit in measuring volume of liquid. We can use a beaker, a cylinder, or a measuring jug. Witty. Now, do you know the unit and the tools that we use to measure the volume of liquid? Yes, I do, Prof. We use milliliters and liters as units in measuring volume of liquid. We can use a beaker, a cylinder, or a measuring jug. Good, Witty. You are a fast learner indeed. Okay, Witty. Now I want to show you how to measure, read, and record the volume of liquid. Just bear with me. In measuring volume of liquid, firstly, you have to determine the capacity of the volume that the container can hold. The capacity means the amount of substance a container can hold. For example, look at this beaker. The capacity of this beaker is 150 milliliters. So, you can only put the liquid which is below than 150 milliliters. Now, let me show you how to read measurement of liquid. The capacity of this beaker is 150 milliliters. Look at the scale at this beaker. Start with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150 milliliters. I can't put water more than that amount. Now, I want to measure the volume of a glass of orange juice. So, I just pour the orange juice into the beaker. Hmm, the volume of a glass of orange juice is 110 milliliters. You have to remember that the correct reading of volume of liquid is where the scale is in line with the bottom of meniscus. Okay, Witty, how do you find it? Can't you follow me? I'm sure you could. Yes, Prof. I got it. Witty, now I want to show how to convert liters to milliliters. Yes, I'm about to ask you that. We, we also, also want, want to, to know, know about, about that. that. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So, if you want to convert liter to milliliters, you can just move the decimals places. For example, 5 liters is equal to 5,000 milliliters. How did I do that? It's simple. Just move 3 decimals places to the right. 5, move 1, 2, 3 decimals point. So, 5,000 equals to 5,000 milliliters. Okay, can't you convert liters to milliliters now? I'm sure you could. Prof, if liters convert to milliliters, we have to move three decimals places to the right. What about milliliters to liters? Ha! Huh, I know, I know. We have to move the decimal points to the left. Am I right, Prof? Yes, you are right. You are a fast learner indeed. Now, let's see how we are going to do it. Five thousand milliliters is equal to five liters. Just move the decimals points 
three places to the left. One, two, three. So, five liters. Okay? Do you get it? Now, let's try another one. 7,800 milliliters is equals to 7.8 liters. How did I do that? Simple. Just follow the step I've shown you before. Move three decimal places. One, two, three. 7.8 liters. VT, liter, and milliliter. Do you understand now? Yes, we did, Prof. Prof, what about the basic operation? Hmm, that's simple. I will show you. Two liters and 459 milliliters plus one liter and 560 milliliters equals to four liters and 19 milliliters. Let's try another one. Three liters and 490 milliliters plus five liters and 10 milliliters equals to 8 liters and 500 milliliters. Now let's subtract it. 6 liters and 670 milliliters subtract 3 liters and 250 milliliters equals to 3 liters and 420 milliliters. Let's try another one. 8 liters subtract 4 liters and 380 milliliters equals to 3 liters and 620 milliliters. So now you can do addition and subtraction. I'm sure you could. Prof, what about multiplication and division? Your wish is granted. Three liters and two hundred milliliters multiplies two equals to six liters and four hundred milliliters. It's simple and easy, right? Now let's try another question. Two liters and four hundred milliliters multiplies one hundred equals to 240 liters. How did I do that? Hmm, remember? You have to move two decimal places to the left if multiply with hundreds. Do you get it? Hey, let's try this. 9 liters and 234 milliliters multiplies 10 equal to 92 liters and 34 milliliters. You have to move one decimal place. Now I know to add, subtract and multiply volume of liquid. But I don't know how to divide the volume of liquid. Is the operation difficult? I know, I know. But let this screen help you. Huh. Actually, you don't know, right? Always like to show off. Hey, I'm not showing off. It's okay, Riti. Don't listen to her. Let's learn how to divide volume of liquid. One thousand eight hundred ninety milliliters divide by ten equals to one hundred eighty nine milliliters. Move one decimal place.
to the left. Do you get it? It's simple. Just move one decimal place to the left if divide by ten. Now, let's try if the operation involves conversation unit by one hundred. Try this. Six liters and four hundred fifty milliliters divide by one hundred equals to sixty four point five liters. So, if the conversation unit is by hundred, you have to move two decimals places to the left. Hmm, easy, huh? Vt, liter, and milliliter. Now I want to show you how to solve problem in volume of liquid. Yes, I would like to know how. Okay, I will show you. Shah drinks zero point eight five liter water in the morning, and one point three five liters. In the afternoon, find the amount of volume of water did he drink on that day. So, friends, first you have to identify which operation involved. In this problem, the operation involved is adding. So you have to add all the figures to find the total amount of liquid. Zero point eight five liters of water, plus one point three five liters, equals to two point two liters. Now, let's do the problem involving subtraction operation. The capacity of a beaker is fifteen liters. There is. Ten point seven zero liters water in container. How many liters more of water can the container hold? This problem involves subtraction, so you just subtract all the figures. Fifteen liters of water, subtract ten point seven zero liters of water, equals to. Four point three liters of water. So the container can hold another four point three liters of water. That was the example involved subtraction. Now, I would like to show you the problem involved multiplication. The volume of one bottle of orange juice. Is one point two five liters. Find the amount of the orange juice in five bottles. What you have to do is just multiply one point two five liters by five. So, one point two five liters multiply by five equals to six point two five liters. Of orange juice. How do you find it? It's easy, huh? Now, I want to show you how to solve problem involving division. Mr. Durai fills up five point five liters oil equally into five same size of bottles. How much is the volume for each bottle? In this problem, you have to divide five point two five liters by five. So five point two five liters divide by five equals to one point zero five liters. So each bottle will consist with one point zero five. Liters oil.
So, witty, little, and milliliter. Do you know how to solve problem involving operation in volume of liquid? Yes, Prof. Thank you so much. If that's so, now I want you to try these exercises in order to make you understand more about volume of liquid and its basic operations. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, Prof. See you next time. Okay, I need to go back now. I want to try all the exercises at home. Thank you, and you have such a wonderful math lab. Bye. 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 Look at your father putting petrol in his car. How many liters does he want to travel far? The volume of our liquids can be easily measured Liter and milliliter, the units to remember Look at some labels written on your bottles Showing the liquid inside the volume for that ride a beaker or a cylinder to, to, to measure the, the volume of liquid.